This video is about a clean tail. I bought this at Dollar Tree for like a dollar twenty-five plus tax. It was like a dollar thirty-seven. Come with two of these flat blades. It's a cheap little tractable flat razor knife. I was just scraping the excess caulking off and I realized this cleans the tails really good without having to scrub and using chemical bunch lid. We ever got a really grimy tail. Leave it dry and get one of these still razor knives. It's usually used for scraping the stickers off windows and tar and stuff. Rig tour gets on windows or paint. Works really good for scraping paint off windows too. Sticker or glass, but it works super good on this scraping this towel off. Getting all the uh, maybe it's old sealer they used on the ground. I'm just going over the areas on the surface of the tail. And you can tell the difference. Yeah, there's the tails that scrape, and there's one that haven't. There's one that haven't scraped, and I have. Okay, let's see, they see. Yeah, it's been uh, not scraping like where the grout is, just in case it is like sealer that's this old and stained. As you can see that tail of the street, it looks brand new, and then the ones that look straight, they look dirty. You can see the taking this soap scum, and if it is old sealer that they didn't scrape off when they did it, did the tail instead of just leaving the grouts. Taking it out too, and it should be fine. The tail is ceramic. You just don't want to scrape in the grout lines. But yeah, this works really good. Time consuming, but I would think scrubbing it or using chemicals. Uh, some of the chemicals might not work so great. Um, be harsh on piping, and metal in particular. I'm just scraping away, well, it's just coming right off with this flat razor knife. Get like a decent angle on it, 45, 60 degree angle on it. Takes the soup grain right off. That yeah, works really well. And then afterwards, just clean that up and or your mess. Well, afterwards, I'll just clean that up and whatever came off. And, uh, yeah, it's even shop back it up and then rinse with the shower head and cold water, warm water, or hot water if work. Big um, difference with making that. Now I'm not using a bunch of loads of chemicals. I'm going to scrub even harder with a scrubber. Uh, I'll just stay out of the great grout lines and if you got epoxy paint on the tub or and uh, ceramic enamel, it's like fiberglass or something, I wouldn't scrape it. If it's ceramic enamel, Maybe it's, uh, maybe it'd work, maybe not. Uh, I'd be careful using it on tub. Just this video is just about using it on the just the surface of the tile, not the grout lines, because it could be sealer that's old and stained from decades of use. I uh, hope this video helps you if you're having a tough time cleaning tile and getting them to look new. I can tell I'll step back, you can tell from further away, I've done this whole area here. 
out of these. You can see where I haven't done it. Uh, that's like time consuming. It might take longer scrubbing it with chemicals. Uh, and uh, this, that's like, not like the hydrochloric acid boat hole cleaner. It's not going to eat the sealer on the, the grout. So I'll just get rid of the stuff that's sealer that's not on the grout. It's just on the surface of the towel or soap scum. Could just be soap scum even. But this works really good to get rid of it. And it's shot back with uh, stuff that falls off and give it a good rinse and dry it maybe.